not be afraid. I bring you good news. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. A. Bad gum. Wow. And that's it. Cue shepherds go to visit baby Jesus. What are you waiting for? That way! Follow the star! The big one! What? Go? I can't go! What do you mean you can't go? That's the next part of the story. The shepherds go to visit baby Jesus. Can't! Can't go to see baby Jesus. I ain't got anything for him. He's favourite world. I can't just turn up like this. A smelly shepherd with no gift. I mean, I've been on ill for five days straight now. My clothes haven't been washed since last Tuesday. He don't want to see me. You haven't read the story, have you? Part one. The angels tell the shepherds about Jesus. Part two, the shepherds go and see him. And when they see him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they'd seen and heard. Look, I told you, you come to the wrong shepherd. I can't go and see Jesus. I can't even give him a lamb. My boss would kill me. Now, you better get back to heaven, aren't you? You are, excuse me, but a bit scary. Scary? Well, you aren't exactly my idea of a familiar face. Now look, you really are missing the point here. Jesus isn't bothered when you last washed. He's just been born in a stable. And let me tell you, those cows mm, don't exactly smell of roses. Mm. Okay, but there's still a problem at gift. See, I was brought up proper and you should always take a gift, especially to the saviour of the world. Honestly, you don't listen. Excuse me, sir, uh, madam. Even though shininess round you is quite distracting, I always listen. And you ain't told me what I'm supposed to take to this baby. Lesson one about Jesus. He loves you just as you are and he wants to see you just as you are. Everyone has a gift they can bring, even if they're so slow they haven't quite realised it yet. So what am I to take? My smelly old self? Look, the gifts you can bring aren't all wrapped in fancy paper, but you and your shepherdy friends have two gifts to offer Jesus this particular night. Two gifts? Yes, the shepherds spread the word concerning what had been told them and glorified and praised God. You've shown you're good at talking. Your gifts are to spread the word. Tell people about Jesus and worship our Saviour. Well, well. How about that? You're right, I am good at spreading news. I know how to tell a good story. Make sure people are interested, you know. As for worship, my singing is pretty good. 
Some have said, reminiscent of an English Tom Jones. I have two gifts to bring him. Who'd have thought you were sure he won't mind my uh, aroma? Just as you are. He loves you, remember? Well, thanks then. I better get wriggle on. Ta! Well, that was a tough customer. Mary and Joseph were much easier. They really don't always tell you the behind the scenes work needed to get a nativity on the road. <laughs>